Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. All right, this is a very simple little blood worm. Uh, I use these these size. These are a, a slender, smaller size that I'll use on rivers a lot, small streams, uh, and then lakes as well. You know, it's mostly kind of a finicky fish type pattern, just smaller and slender, more realistic. So we're going to start right at the uh, kind of halfway down the bend. And the goal here is to minimize as much of the body material that we can. And so we're going to, that's why we'll start down here. And it's going to really consist of two things. It's just some thread and some tinsel. So this uh, thread is going to serve as the uh, ribbing as well. So I'm going to grab my little turbo dubbing spinner tool and make like I'm going to do a dubbing loop. And we'll twist this up for the rib here in a little bit. But I'm going to keep that off to the side for now. And then I'll grab my holographic tinsel from Beavis. This is a medium-sized cranberry color. And this will serve as the body. And we'll secure that in there. And then just work my way on up to the eye of the hook. And then we'll create our body with the tinsel just by wrapping this tightly and smoothly up. And once I get to the head, tie that off. Now we could fish it just like that, but I like to add a little bit more realism. So I'm going to take this little thread loop that I created and just spin. And this will put it into a little rope for me. And with that, I can make the ribbing. And so I'm just going to rib the body with this thread. So I just created a little segmentation there, and then we're going to trim the excess. Then we'll whip finish. And then as a final step, I just like to coat these with some fluorescing UV clear fly finish. A little light coating, it makes them last a little longer. Maybe gives them some extra something something. Then I'll grab my bodkin and this kind of helps to clean it up. Then we just zap it. And there's our blood worm. <laughs>